What's up guys and welcome back to another TFT video. In this video we take two healthy and this is a good demonstration of one of the lines that you can take. This game I'm playing Neela and Akali duo carry with the Trinity Force augment, but I'm willing to bet that Cassio Syndra duo carry is just as strong. However, you do get the added benefit of the health on your carries being put to use more effectively when you play two healthy with melee carries like we do in this video. With that being said, if you like what you see, please like the video and subscribe. See ya! Dude, the extra three uh, extra three k RP a day. Love Gamba. Free skins and stuff, dude. PBE is just where it's at. I'm just gonna play on PBE for the rest of my life now. What do we get? Static shiv? Huh? Witchcraft crest, two healthy, and an aspiring epitaph. Um, like two healthy Neela would be really cool. Two healthy Neela. We've got a bad item start for it, but I still think it's probably worth it to force. Grab bag, vertically inclined. Yeah, sure. Got the zigs. Buy these guys. Got the honey vanguard boy. Hey, should we put in honey mancer? Solo frontline blitz. Honey mancers deal 7.5% of damage over the last three seconds. Seems pretty good. Good too if it wasn't for the ping. Ziggs is still strong after the nerf. Let's find out. His damage is the same. The only thing that's different is now he has a cast delay. He's actually locked out of auto attacking for as long as he's supposed to be before he was casting too fast after his first cast. So, boom, throws. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, honestly. The high arcane gains attack speed and health for each arcane for each arcana champ field to gain an Ari and a Hecarim. Seems kind of neat. Um. Oh yeah, wait, we need multi-strikers. Frick. I know, I know we don't. We need warriors, huh? Okay. So a Neela board is like this girl. Neela probably. Um, maybe you do Ari, Ekarim, Shen. Then you're close to multi strikers, I guess. So maybe you're just throwing Cassidy. One, two, three, six, ten. Ziggs does seem to get kills still, that's pretty cool. Two losses, but we got really good losses, honestly. Honestly! And let's see how free these charms are. Reveal who your next opponent is, that charm's already free. You piece of crap. I should probably take the Ari. I would like to make 10. That would be ideal. Make 20 here. Frick the bees. Kind of want to lose. Oh, he's got school mascot I would have lost anyways. I didn't really scout correctly. Frontline zigs. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, we just don't kill anything now. That's lame. Well, maybe. Oh heck. Oh heck. Oh heck yeah. One kill, I'll take it. Now, our first item should be what? Maybe... Crit? Yeah? I like crit. Could also be sword or something, but I think I'll take. I'll do like Last Whisper, Bloodthirster, Titans or something. Maybe Ginsu's. I don't know how much attack speed Neela has. Probably not Ginsu's, honestly. You have the full setup, you got the full Gamba going. Nice, dude. Big jealousy. Hey, you're 80. Got a so bard. 
guy's got nothing on his board. That's crazy. Guy really wants to lose Shriek, huh? This guy's already got Nilo. Rick. <sighs> now already has Nilo then, huh? Now what? And we're attacking two different targets. That's not good. Zero kills. Really want the arena on your main account? Might actually spend a little bit of money. Ooh. Ooh, he's spending money on Riot Games. Ah, uh, it's so sad that that guy's playing Neela. I mean, I'm sure I could pivot and find something else, but I wanted to test the strength of this comp. I guess it's fine to test the strength of it contested too, because now you can see if it's actually good or not. I mean, if this guy's going to play nothing, I still lose, or I still beat that guy. Unless I have my board position like this, I think. Maybe not, he's got items. Let's try it. He's got items down. We've got one more two-star than him. He's got you of my bow. Okay, good job. Nice. Maybe two kills then? Hey, okay, perfect. Pretty good losses overall. Took one really bad loss. But we had to in order to guarantee losses. 76 for 5 is... Muy bueno. Could be down here. This guy looks 69 health. Played no board, just died every single turn. Capuchungus, dude. Okay. Now surely we just win. I don't need any of this, guys. Or 2 costs and 3 costs. I mean, that's about as good as you can ask for with a too, too healthy board, right? And you get Hecarim's Arcana bonus, which is going to give us um, AD and durability, which is really cool. Let's just see where that Neela boy is at. He's got lots and lots of Eldritch. So he's going Eldritch reroll, probably. With a focus on Neela, which is not ideal. Wait, we're going to lose? Oh, my god. I thought Blitzcrank was going to be tanky enough, I'll be honest. Tap a penis, dude. What? Oh, our health? Our units got a little bit of health? Some important Dr. Pepper coconut from work. How can anyone drink that? Imported Dr. Pepper Coconut? That's just wild to me. Oh, we'll try not to be tilted about that loss. I already feel like I'm losing my mind over that one. I'm going crazy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Guy buys units for two turns and already has a better board than me. Ah! Can't believe I lost that. I just didn't need to at all. <laughs> Too much TFT the last couple of days, dude. Buried treasures, radiant relics, new recruit. Um, radiant relics. Oh, Freaky Friday. A Prowler's Claw and a Gold Collector? Uh, it's definitely this. Boom, boom. Cool, cool. Level. 
point flip chance. Hit it. Kali. Alright, I think I'll make dollars off of that. Um, so Akali probably gets the secondary one, or maybe, no, maybe, actually, Kassadin seems like a better secondary carry, to be honest. So maybe I'll give Kassadin a Hodge and, uh, the other Trinity Force. She gets a shield based on AP, deals damage based on AD. This guy's just a little bit too strong. Also has the Arcana Conduit, so he's going to buy all of the Hecarims and the Aries too. We're pretty contested. Five plus hours of TFT is wild, yeah. Every single day for the last week straight, basically. Some experiencing some small burnout. There you go. That's the comp, though. That's the comp. Don't make 40 again, so whatever. She can be a backliner. Seems like a, another really good thing with this comp might be uh, what whenever you touch your allies, you get a shield at the start of combat. What's that one called? Whenever you hug your allies at the start of combat, it's really good on duelists last season. Keepers. Whenever keepers might be really good for this as well. But my once my two star Neela has 1800 health. Everything's really good. With that much playtime, you're already for set 13 when set 12 goes live. Yep. Sure, sure. This is pretty sick. Now I can make. Thieves gloves and I can make a hodge. I guess I probably should worry about one last item on this girl though And it's probably supposed to be bloodthirster Yeah, we'll get one. We'll get there We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there All items transform into static shivs. Wow Some poop. A collie got buffed. No, not yet. Okay. Okay. See, this is how it's supposed to work with a two cost reroll. You stabilize a little bit, you roll kind of deep. You're able to not spend every single dollar you have. I like this side more. We should be pretty much everybody. Category 5 Pandora's items. Radiant Dervala stone plate. The Varpala stone plate, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kali did most damage. I guess she got really sick items. And you have to give them items for Hecarim's bonus to pop. <gasps> Excuse me. We get our Trinity Force right here. One, two, three. Yeah, right here. Okay. I mean, in theory, you could go double Trinity Force on this girl, but... This one I think is better. What's up, Nick? Yeah. I still want to give her Bloodthirster for sure. If you win your next combat, gain two gold. Okay, it's free. Four units for four rolls. I guess that's not that bad. If we win our combat, we get the two gold, we still make 40. Because it gives you the gold before in between. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And we get caught up on items now that we get back to wolves again finally. Kind of awkward. This guy's got two Neelas on his bench. We have a pretty even amount. He's also rolling on six though. Okay, we're gonna three-star Akali. At least we gave her something. Yeah, we're ready for set 13 already. Count, count me in, I'm ready. I've already played enough of set 12. This comp does seem pretty good though. 
big damage up also when you get three star. Nope, that's not Bloodthirster. That could be... Could be close. Not really. Even Shroud's not really good. In a random uncraftable emblem? How about you miss me with that? In a copy of the first component you can get? Yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Oh. Okay. I don't think three star Ari matters that much. Maybe you should just donate the war mocks to this dude. It activates his uh, Arcana buff as well. Our whole team has durability pretty much now, except for Shen. Oh my god, our first component was a Bloodthirster, holy. Holy, dude, this is kind of sick. This is like worse than encounters. Neela's such a cool unit, probably better than Syndra reroll. I don't know, Syndra reroll seems really strong too. Three's a crowd. Give even more HP. Seems not that good. Support item and two four costs. I like support item. Capricious. Capricious Shen. Not really a big deal, honestly. Big grab bag. Complete items on that guy, I guess. Let's just go teaming up. Non removable belts. Randuin's Omen. Nutty? Make all these guys tankier? Um, is it ever this guy instead of... Ari? Maybe not. Hoping that we can get the duplicator... Charm this game at some point. We're just gonna stay six pretty much for the whole game. Try to roll for everything. Close to some stuff, not really. Okay, this guy's got two star bears. We just collapsed two star bears board. That Randuin's was sick, dude. Now we've got durability and resistances. We're just tanky. Gain a component anvil. Uh, skip. Lesser duplicator, yep. That's a win. Ekarim. More Nilas. So close. Shouldn't I keep rolling? That's a win. Alright, we rolled too deep. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh well. Too much TFT the last couple of days. This is just such a an abysmal game that we we're playing right now. Oh my god. Hi Genevieve. How am I feeling? Better. Better? Not great. I think today is like the day where I'm finally just... Maybe like most of the sickness is out of my body. I'm just so lethargic. I'm so lethargic. Did that guy also have Nilos? No, he's full Arcana guy. What do we need? We need cast a win items. Hey. Oh my god, look at them. They're so cute. They say, go Keith, go Keith. Alright, so this cop is broken. Cove is no joke. It can take months to fully recover. Wishing you nothing but a speedy recovery. Thanks, dude. Shred and sunder enemies. Miss me with that one. Pyro Bastion, Pyro Bastion, Pyro Shapeshifter. Temporary declosh or... Have I played any swarm? Not really. Have you? Have you been grinding out swarm? No Neela thumbnail, kinda lame, but we need a uh, we need the power to keep the wind streak up. 
If I had counted better, I would have realized that I could have made the thumbnail before. But then again, we're also just playing some pretty bad TFT today, so. So, Infinity Force, Last Whisper, Bloodthirster. She has 1.86 attack speed. Oh, but she gets a steroid whenever she gets a shield. It's actually kind of nutty. Played for the first time yesterday. It was pretty fun. Couldn't beat Briar, but got close. That's how we were when we played, too. That's how it worked for us as well. Me and my friends. Like, uh, Rex, I was easy. Briar was actually hard. Where are my dudes, man? Give me my dudes, man. This comp does seem good, though, yeah? Is Tootie's name Tootie's? Kind of. I don't... I spell it all sorts of different ways. T-U-T-I, T-O-O-T-I, T-O-T-Y, Dodie. Are you with your girlfriend you beat it all the way to hard mode Aatrox? Dude. Yeah. Swarm's fun. Swarm is fun. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get Syndra. And this is where Syndra is worse than Neela. Yeah. Or Syndra is better than Neela, I guess. I guess he had more two stars than us, though. Just barely. And he's got my Neelas? What a... What a guy, dude. My units are so contested this game. It still seems like not even that bad. Fiora? No. That's a win. That's a win. Let's give him another item. And let's give this guy some good old fashioned healing reduction. And one last item can go on to Shen, and it's a D Claw. Nice. And we hit everything. Unfortunately, not in time for that one guy to not beat us, but it's fine. Now we just level up and play. I don't know. Something. I've been playing Rank Solo Duo recently. This set is boring, and I'm waiting for the new set. Yeah. Gotta get that PBE access, baby. Rank Solo Duo? What are you playing? What are you playing on your Rank Solo Duo account? I'm so tired, guys. Holy. Two cost champ, you have transforms into a three cost champ. What if we just like transform the Neela into a three star? There isn't a single melee 80 carry guy that matters at all is there there's no premier frontline 83 cost interesting hecarim is a guy but he's not like premier this girl's ap that guy's tank 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 okay interesting there's no yone of this set there's no yone this set what the? No Yone? How can you have a set without a Yone? Wu is a tank, technically. I mean, yeah, Wu Kong carry augment transforms him, but no, normally he's just a tank, actually. You're sub main, but your peak was a 2019. Your rank is so branded right now since I've been on off league for the past. What was your peak? What did you peak? Man, maybe I should have held that Tom Kench. I'm pretty sure I'm just putting in Arcane. Diamond and now you're at gold? Oh boy. Oh boy, yep. 
Yeah, it takes a takes a certain amount of grinding, dude. You really have to want to play a lot to climb in League and in TFT, really. That's my biggest gripe with both of these games, is it just takes so long to climb. It just takes so long. Oh, attack speed. I mean, we have really good items, so. I guess I'm gonna take this to give it to Shen since it's pretty much the only thing I need an item on. TFT's more relaxing, just hit, yeah. You can't make it out of wood, dude. Funny. Oh shoot, it's got a transformation. I didn't even know that. Where we made We made the bunnies happy, guys. Happy bunny, sad bunny, happy bunny, sad bunny. TT feels easy to play, like cooking, doing laundry. Even when you lose, there's something fun about it. Yeah, no, honestly. I do like playing TFT quite a bit. I used to play at the gym, I used to play at school, in my car. Mobile TFT is great. Play while you're doing laundry, exactly. I can't really play ranked solo duo anymore. Do you think you have an addiction to it? I bet you my girlfriend would probably say that, something like that, yeah. TFT in the gym between sets is fun. I mean, how much TFT have I played in the last five days? Set came out on Tuesday the 16th. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, like 30. At the end of the day, it'll be like 30 hours of TFT. Not to mention, like the extra probably two and a half hours I put in each day, like making my YouTube videos and one short per day since Tuesday, dude. Zed got a huge buff and now everybody's playing him. Oh yeah, dude, Zed is the, the gold killer also. Holy, that guy annihilated me, man. I was this many people dead at 5'6". Is your goal to be a big streamer? Definitely. One week off work and you grind the YouTube? Of course, dude. What else was I supposed to do? I felt guilty doing literally anything else. This is definitely like my biggest goal in life right now is to see if I can become a big streamer. And in order to accomplish that, I can be one 100%. Thanks, dude. It's a little disheartening sometimes. Like, I put in so much work this week, and it feels like I just did not really... Nice, two, three Zeraths, holy. Deep's gloves for Zerith. Tank items, okay. I put in a ton of work this week and it felt like I didn't really get paid off that well, but... Far more un unentertaining people get popular. What a shove and we're still level 7. Yeah, charms are nuts, dude. Resub for 6 months? Oh my god! I didn't know that that was a feature. Look at that. All those emotes exploding. For the emotes, dude. That's fucking cool. That's pretty cool, huh? I didn't do that on purpose. That just happened. High Arcana champions gain damage amp and durability for one round. 20% bonus true damage or 25% bonus AD. I'm um, gonna have to go with 
bonus true damage on that one, bud. Hopefully we can live for one more, maybe. Oh, yeah, we get a ghost fight, and then we can put in a Tom Kench, and our arcane arcana damage will just go through the moon? Although, if this guy two-stars smolder, it's basically just GG. Oh, nice, we killed it. I think they buffed ghost boards, by the way, guys. I think ghost boards actually aren't weak anymore. Have you played a set with Smolder yet? No, dude. I have not. Not quite. We have not quite played a Smolderino. What is this guy? He's just three dragons Smolder? Yeah, three dragons Smolder. Oh, GG. Can't beat that guy anymore. I think I actually lose to that guy so hard, I gotta level up now. Okay, we actually hit the Kench. Was just looking for a good charm to maybe soften this blow a little bit. Dude, look at how much damage this guy's about to do to our whole team. Two star smolder with that's gotta be BIS. He just he one shots everybody. Ah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, time to kill some goldies. Good luck, dude. I don't have anything that I need here. I guess I'll take Shiv. That Zareth goes crazy, though. Need him to get some good items. If you win and gain XP, that's not good enough. Reroll your shop with all four cost champs. That's not good enough. Gain a five cost champ and a two cost champ that shares the traits. No. Permanent three star. No. Lightning dummy. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh. Thirty-five percent bonus tree damage, thirty-five hundred damage tower. Does the tower dump? Does the tower dump? Oh, it does, and we're and it's in the front row, so it's gonna die. Oh no, we should have let it back row a little bit. Dang, it's so hard to beat seven Eldritch with school mascot, dude. Hi, bonk. All right, third place, not too bad. Neil is definitely pretty good. Even fully contested, we got that as a result. I'll take it. Thanks for watching. And I think I love you again. I think I love you again.